we had such a good time with Brandon and uh, checking out his boat uh, on the last episode that I thought I'd include a little bit more on it. Uh, this is when we first met him. He was standing on his boat uh, when we pulled in and anchored after that rough ride out the uh, inlet there. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Welcome, John. Yeah. We're alive. Yeah. That's what I know. Right now, we're taking no cleat on there, so be careful. All right. There's a cleat right here if you want it. That's where oh, I was yeah, going to sit. Yeah, we can hook it back. We'll up to that one. I'm Jake. I'm Brandon. Brandon. Nice I'm to meet Barry. you. I'm Barry. Are you the builder? Not the builder. Rebuilder. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we had just met Brandon for the very first time, and he was so accommodating and uh, giving us a tour of his boat and uh, all the info on the background of it. Well, come on aboard, guys. Let's talk about yeah. it. How about it? Yeah. You can grab onto this. You ain't going to hurt it. Oh, dude, look at that. Yeah, that's like the middle. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. I was wondering if that would work. You know, it works great and I'll never get rid of them. However, yeah. I'm about to rebuild them in uh, Zapelli. Oh, really? Yeah. Because they're, they're just ugly. It's the only reason. Powder coat. Yeah. Smooth them up, powder coat. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Or, or skin them with something nice. Yeah. I mean, because the structure, you're never getting. Is this uh, the Tangaroa? Tangaroa. 27? 36. Thir this is 36? Yeah. That's going, man, there's a big difference between a 30 and a 26. Yeah, but that's a 36. 36. Yeah, she's a big girl. Oh, um, man, I like it. Yeah. Where's your outboard at? I got two. Just one one under each? Yeah, one under each of these. Oh, look at that. Is that sweet? That is sweet. What was your name again? Brandon. Brandon. Yes. Yeah, I don't see it. Two 9.9s? I think I got Two 9.9s, power tilt, and then you can trim the sled down yeah, to raise and, and lower the leg. Right. Yeah. Dang. The fuel tanks used to be under here, but I converted those to water. And then I built the slatted decks you're standing on, I built all of them. Right. Underneath here, on both sides in the middle, I built into the framing a locker that's real shallow. Right. And I had custom made five inch tall, 20 inch wide, 60 inch long aluminum fuel tanks. Ooh. 27 gallons each. Man. Golly, dang. Yeah, it's like 700 miles of range or something crazy oh, if you're going dude, slow. Oh, man. Yeah. I got a six and a half gallon. <laughs> one eight horsepower. I had a 21 before I had this, so I get it. Look, look, look. Shower? Yeah. Oh, God. And that filters uh, like whatever water you're in. The filter's it. probably a gimmick. You know, okay. it doesn't really do much. The, all of the water that comes into the boat comes in through the catwalk, which I can show you later. Yeah. So if you go to the dock or anything like that, you can, it, you know, pressurize water into the system and that runs through a dual filtration system, like a 20 micron uh, particulate filter and then a five micron carbon block filter that gets everything out. So the water that goes into the tanks is clean. You collect water, rainwater? Water, water, yep. Water, water catchment on both sides. Dang, that's sweet. And I got. Tony, this is a famous boat. It is. Thank you guys. It's a famous boat. I've read about Element and Element 2 the whole time I was building mine. Yeah. I, I used a lot of ideas that he had on the Element 2. It's the 26 he built. And he sold it before he ever finished it. Yeah, Scott. Yeah, yeah. So you bought this from Scott? 
No, no. So I had Element One, the Tiki Twenty One. Okay. He <laughs> sold it to a guy in Colorado, who sold it to a guy in Texas, who sold it to a guy in Pensacola. <laughs> I reached out to Scott when I was looking to buy a worm for the first time and asked if he knew of any boats that were like Element One that I could restore, like he did. And I was going to do, you know, basically following his footsteps. And he's like, "Well, Element One's for sale. And she needs a little love, yeah. but she's back on the market." So I drove to Pensacola met uh bob stump nice guy um went and made a deal with him brought home element one sweet sailed her all over a lake in tennessee took her down to so Sarah's originally, famous, then? originally yeah just uh, outside of nashville okay cool yeah, i'm real familiar with all those places out there and I, I brought her down to sarasota needed a little beach in my life sailed her all around the sarasota bay up and down the gulf down to the keys and back tiki 21 mind you yeah, um, that's twice. Cool. That's, we that, just got back from the Keys. I, I, I found you finally on Facebook and looked you up, and yeah. saw your journey. Cool. Uh, found your YouTube channel, subscribed, and I hear no, you. hit All the right. notification bell. Sweet. Um, so did the Keys and back twice from yeah. Sarasota. Uh, Four hundred miles round trip. Yeah. Um, and a twenty-one. Then finally, boom. Um, finally traded, worked out a deal. When I went down to the Keys, I was going to the Hui's. Yeah. And I met uh, Dan Coons, a good friend of mine. Um, worked out a deal with Dan, traded Element One, and all my retirement money from Trader Joe's <laughs> for the Tangaroa, which was at the, at the time called Forever Young. Okay. And the deal was we traded boats and traded names. So we okay. kept Forever so Young and I kept the original element. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I kept the element. original element was the 21 Tiki. Yeah, the 21 Tiki 21 element. He renamed Forever Forever Young and I renamed this element. We swapped names, swapped boats. Sadly, a few years in, um, in a storm, Element One, or now then Forever Young, broke off of its mooring and took off sailing on its own to the Bahamas. Ouch. Oh, yeah. So somebody owns that out there now. Yeah, somebody's real happy with that boat. Oh yeah. She's a good boat. Um, and I've been I've been rebuilding and reworking this boat ever since. Um, she's kind of in a constant state of evolution. I wish I could have a back leg. Um, you know, I had trampolines first. I had a custom aluminum frame yeah. built. I had trampolines on either side, ladder, yeah, uh, the, the moon toilet as we called it. Yeah. Um, and it was nice. It was nice. And then I had the whole thing set up so that it hinged from the back beam. I had blocks built onto the bottom of the back beam and then laced around the tubing. Yeah. And the whole deck would hinge down to the water so you could pull a dinghy up onto the deck. I need a bigger boat. <laughs> there you go. And so this one, you know, I, I kind of never used that back space to walk around. It was real. That's a, it's a massive tubing. That's a massive tubing. So, and then when I designed these, I was like, you know, I've got all this framing underneath. Why don't I put some of that to use? So, I put in lockers underneath. Dang. And a ladder. See, that's what I had on mine. I built I put a good deck. Like I said last time, uh, great boat, amazing boat, amazing person. And I tell you what, the sailing community is awesome already, but the Warham community is over the top. And Brandon is more proof. And I, I just, we've stood and talked and exchanged boat stories and and building stuff um, for hours and uh, yeah. I hope we didn't uh, overstay our welcome but well, that boat was amazing.
fixated. back on track. Hey, this uh, time we're headed from Naples up to uh, Fort Myers Beach and uh, gonna check in at uh, Salty Sam's.